the the uh Warhawk, uh, yeah, the Warhawk, yeah, P forty, yeah. The they went over the Tuskegee Airmen, I guess you could say, went over in, in two phases. Initially the 99th uh fighting squadron went over. Mm -hmm. Um and they went over with P forties. Ah, yeah, yeah. And then when the three thirty second came over close to a year later. 332nd went over in P-39s ah, that yeah, they learned to fly it. here itself. Nicer plane. And then they, <laughs> then they transitioned to the 47s, of right. which they were going to use for escorting bombers. Yeah, exactly. Took those yeah. for less than a month and then went into the 51s. Right. I think uh, when the 99th, they were attached to other units, other uh, fighter groups, some more liberal than others. Right, right. Um, but when the 332nd went over, um, the Department of the Army said, well, we're going to, since we've got this segregated fighter group, right. we're going to attach the 99th to the 332nd. Yeah, so they so ended up being the only fighter group with four fighter squadrons attached to it. Right. Guys in the, in the 99th, some of them didn't, didn't want to. Right, right, they, exactly. They were having success bitter, where they yeah, were at. They, yeah, yeah. kind of bitter somewhat. I mean, yeah. anyway, I mean, I, I don't blame them if they were. Yeah. Because, you know, they were not only fighting the war, but they were fighting the war against faces. Yeah, that's it's exactly like, it. It's like, come on. So double, that's what they talked about the in, in that PBS special. Yep, yeah, the double V. Yeah. So the... The, the guys that are 332nd only flew P-40s during training. They never flew them in combat. Right. Guys of the 99th never flew the P-39s because they were over when the 332nd was getting trained in the 39s. Yeah. And <laughs> they didn't get attached to the 332nd until after the 332nd got rid of the uh, P-39. So uh, I do believe there were some pilots of the 99th that got a chance to fly the 47 See, you, and the 51. You've got actual pictures that I can go off of. Uh, like, yeah, you know, yeah, I'd like to have one mocked up like uh, like um, Benjamin O'Day. Yeah, because I see right there, it's got yeah. the green right there. Yep. Yeah. That would be the one to do, like that. Time. Yep, yep, it'll be like that. It'll be like that. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. So the Yankee Air Museum found a B-24 Liberator in Keith a couple of years ago. So they're restoring it now, but when they when they found it, it was in a swamp. So it was buried, uh, what do you guys say, probably about 40 or 50 percent buried in it, you know, and when the water was in the sea, there'd be more showing. Yeah. But they had to take me and park to get out of there. Plus they had to go through all the red tape yeah. in Canada. Uh, that they finally got a hold of them. Mm -hmm. And then, you got the, the, the scrap permits and everything. And a lot of people, they don't realize that during the war effort, like that, who won, for fake example, that was all ladies. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the Rose. Oh, yeah. That was the